Hey guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Electric Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. So your unit's not working and it's giving you a two-time flash. Well, today we'll take a look at what this problem is and how to fix it. A two-time flash at the indoor unit means that we have a fault with one of the thermistors. Before we get into troubleshooting a thermistor, let's take a step back and look at some of the reasons why they fail and also the role that they play with our equipment. The indoor units use thermistors to judge what the room temperature and coil temperature are. A thermistor is a temperature-based resistor, which changes its resistance value based on the current temperature surrounding it. A thermistor is either good or it's bad. Let's take a look at some of the common reasons why a thermistor could go bad. The thermistor could be rusted or corroded, or the thermistor could be broken, such as the wires being cut or frayed. Now let's take a look at how to check a thermistor. The tools we'll need for this job is a multimeter that's able to measure resistance along with a pair of micro leads. We'll also need a cup of ice water. The first step we'll wanna do is take the thermistor and place it in the ice water. You want to make sure that the thermistor is in the ice water for a few minutes so that it's able to acclimate to the temperature. Once the thermistor has been submerged in the ice water for a few minutes, now it's time to check the resistance. We'll need our own meter with micro leads to take the resistance reading. Once we've measured the resistance, we want to compare that to the graph or the chart that's located in the service manual. All units are going to be different, so make sure that you have the specific service manual for the specific unit that you're working on. Now let's take a look and do this ourselves. In my thermistor here, I'm measuring 26 K ohms, which is short for kilo ohms. What I'll do is I'll take this reading and compare it to what I see on my chart. You should expect to read somewhat close to the ice water temperature, which is 32 degrees. If the thermistor resistance matches the value on the chart, then we can go ahead and say the thermistor is okay. If that value is way out of balance or way out of range, then it's safe to say your thermistor is bad. So what happens if we're still getting a two-time flash for a thermistor error, even though we've checked all of our thermistors and they ohm out okay? What we would recommend doing is replacing the control board. Sometimes it's a matter of the thermistors reading the correct information, but the board never interprets it correctly. Therefore, replacing the board is gonna be the fix. 